Mashal Academy is a scam. Do not buy Mashal Academy. Mashal Academy has a huge pay to win issue. As you guys can see, the feedback on Mashal Academy, which is the new Roblox anime game that released for paid access, has not been the brightest. And I actually put a lot of time into Mashal Academy, and I was gonna make this video earlier. I've just been really busy with everything recently, but I wanna tell you guys the actual truth about this game. Now, for those of you that have no idea what the game is, it's a game based on the show Mashal Magic and Muscles. And for those of you that don't know, the anime Mashal is actually pretty popular right now and it's actually pretty good so a lot of people are interested in playing the game simply because it is based on the show now you guys might be thinking why is there such bad feedback around this game right now and it's honestly for a lot of reasons but the main one has got to be the price tag to actually play this game we're not in the era of gpo 200 robux paid access even deep Oaken, like 400 robux paid access this game is about 30 dollars to play i think there's a sale right now for 20 dollars but i know before the options were either 2600 robux or 20 dollars on this Discord. But to be fair to them, it is an early access for a reason. This isn't necessarily supposed to be the full release. And from my understanding, the whole logic is well, a lot of people will spend and overpay for a $20 game, but this also means that we could release it later for free when it's in a better state, but it's essentially going to help fund the game so they can make the game better. So if I'm being honest, $20 is definitely complete overpay for this game, but at the same time, it's supposed to be overpay. It's early access for a reason. So honestly, I'm really not mad at the price tag. I understand it's overpriced, but at the same time, it's supposed to be and that's just the current state roblox is in if the customers are willing to pay that much and it's going to help you fund the game why would they not do it but there is a big problem i have with this game and that's the pay to win in this game like it's actually ridiculous you're probably thinking because you have to spend 30 dollars 20 dollars to even play this game right now that there wouldn't be that much pay to win but it's literally the complete opposite everything you do in this game costs robux you want to reroll your magic it costs robux you want to switch your weapon you got to wipe which also costs robux every customization option in this game costs robux from your hair color to your eye color from the face you're currently wearing and it's not even like you pay robux and then you could choose their re-rolls so this means to customize your character how you want you're gonna have to re-roll like 10 20 times overall and in my opinion things like that are just ridiculous you already have overpowered clans and races as spin systems i don't think it's necessary to also have every customization option behind a spin system that costs robux now what i will say is if they did have that system but they didn't have it so you had to spin for your magic or spin for your race and spin for your clan i really wouldn't have that much of a problem with it if i would have a problem with it at all because at that point they would have no pay to win systems in the game so customization would be something that they need to monetize somehow but like i said that's not the reality of this game it costs money for a lot of pay to win features in this game as well and i would give them a little leniency if there was a way to obtain stuff for free but there's not i believe they are working on like a dungeon system and eventually you'll be able to obtain things for free but it's not in the game currently and i don't know how lenient those odds even are gonna be oh and speaking of odds to put it in context to get a rare it's a 10 percent to get a legendary it's a one percent and it costs 200 per spin 200 robux so the odds are definitely not the worst but when you consider the price per reroll it's definitely not great and also for clans it does say there's rare clans but i'm pretty sure there's only legendary clans and rare clans are like a future thing that's going to get added but currently you're only spinning for a one percent now if i'm being honest besides the price tag and the pay to win this game actually isn't bad and the main reason that is is because of the combat the combat is actually really fun in my opinion and i think a lot of people would agree with that that have actually got the chance to play the game and that's really the only reason people are even playing the game the combat is actually fun but the progression even is definitely subpar and by subpar i really mean the progression is just pretty boring unless you do pvp based progression to give you guys an idea of how the progression works now before you used to just get a random quest from your base and then from there you would have to just do whatever the quest says it would be like kill a player go do this mission go kill this many of radishes and things like that and by radishes by the way i'm talking about these like martial radishes type thing it's essentially just like uh, kill this many npcs but how it worked before is you would get a random quest out of three different options for every 25 levels and you don't level up fast in this game the level cap is 100 so you were really playing the same three quests for like 10 hours at a time but they did actually make some changes which i would say overall helped the progression now you can actually choose which quest you pick so you could choose only pvp based progression quests so you could progress through only pvp and that's actually the way i would recommend to play this game i mean that's the funnest way in my opinion because the pvp is fun but the pve is honestly really boring for those that haven't played the pvp it's kind of like fake stun i like to call it or soft stun where essentially you can parry when you're in a combo but it's still true stun so like you can't do anything else but parry or use your evasive and that might not sound that fun or sound that good in general but it's actually pretty fun in my opinion and i think a lot of people would agree with that but even with the combat being really fun and really good in my opinion i don't think it's worth near the 20 dollar price tag i mean i guess it could be under a few specific conditions like if you have a lot of money to also spend on spins afterwards if you have friends that already play the 
the game and things like that but normally i wouldn't recommend buying it but if you do have a lot of money and time and want to play something with good and fun combat i would actually recommend it i mean not at that price tag but like i said if you have a lot of money that's not an issue I'd, i wouldn't necessarily go against it now those are just my thoughts definitely not law or anything but let me know what you guys think especially those of you that have actually had the chance to play the game either way make sure that the like and subscribe button it does a lot for the channel like i mean a lot so i'd appreciate it and click this video right here that's a great video i promise you click it thank y'all love y'all later